Hi boys and girls, it's time for Tuesday Tales and today's stories are about caterpillars. And you know we have to start each one with a joke, so I've got one ready for you. What's the only thing a caterpillar is afraid of? A dog a pillar. <laughs> Get it? A cat a pillar, dog a pillar. Okay, <laughs> time for our first story. Today's first story is called The Caterpillar and the Polylog, and it's written and illustrated by Jack Kent. Caterpillars aren't like other folks. As ducks and hippopotamuses and you and I get older, we get bigger, especially hippopotamuses, but not caterpillars. They turn into butterflies. Turning into something else like that is not a thing just anybody can do. Down by the pond, there lived a caterpillar who was very proud of being different. She bragged about it to all her friends. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told Snail. Love me, said Snail, who really didn't care one way or the other. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told Turtle. I don't blame you, said the turtle, who didn't much like wiggly things. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told the polywog. What fun, said the polywog. What are you going to turn into? But the caterpillar hurried on her way, looking for someone else to tell her secret to. Oh, I wish I could turn into something else when I grow up said the polywog. You will, said the fish. All polywogs do. They do? Do you know what they turn into? I bet you already guessed it, didn't you? Let's wait and find out what happens in the story. What am I going to turn into? The polywog asked. But the fish saw a tasty bug and dashed away for it. When I grow up, said the caterpillar, who had circled the pond and was going around for a second time. When I grow up, she told the polywog again, I'm going to turn into something else. So am I, said the polywog. You? The caterpillar was so surprised, she almost fell into the pond. The fish said so, the polywog told her. Fish knows things. They go to school. The caterpillar was upset. I thought only caterpillars could do it, she said. What are we going to turn into, the polywog asked. Well, I'm going to turn into a butterfly, said the caterpillar. Then I guess I will too, said polywog. What fun, let's do it together. Can I turn into a butterfly? All right, caterpillar agreed, although she would rather have done it alone. But I get to go first. The polywog didn't mind. He wasn't at all sure how it was done anyway. Um, I'll watch you, he said. So when the time came, the caterpillar started to spin a cocoon. This is the tricky part, she said. The polywog watched as the caterpillar spun. Soon only her head was uncovered. Now I have to close the lid, she said, and when I come out, I'll be a butterfly. Go ahead, the polywog said excitedly. I want to see you do it. It will take a while, the caterpillar warned. She started spinning, 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 and was soon out of sight in the cocoon. For a long time, nothing happened, but the polywog was patient. He watched and watched and watched. <gasps> Do you notice something changing? <gasps> the polywog is changing. For days and days and days. <gasps> He's changing some more. Look at that. At last, there was activity in the cocoon. The end of it opened and very slowly, the caterpillar climbed out, only oh, she wasn't a caterpillar anymore. She was a butterfly. 
a beautiful butterfly. Look at Pollywog. The Pollywog was so excited, he hopped up and down with delight. He hopped up and down like a frog. I was so busy watching you, he said. I didn't notice what was happening to me. He's a grown-up now. You're a very handsome frog, the butterfly said as she flew off to try her new wings. But the frog was puzzled. I thought I was going to be a butterfly, he said. A caterpillar wiggled by. When I grow up, he said proudly to the frog, I'm going to turn into something else. But the frog wasn't listening. He was admiring his reflection in the water. I am, you know, a very handsome frog. <laughs> I'm glad he liked the way he turned out. He didn't turn into a butterfly, but he turned into a big, strong, handsome frog. Good job, Tadpole. That was the caterpillar and the pollywog. Our second story is about another caterpillar. And you may have heard of the very hungry caterpillar. That's a word to describe how the caterpillar was feeling. The caterpillar was feeling very hungry in that story. This story is called the very impatient caterpillar. Impatient is a word to describe how you feel when you can't wait for something. You're just so impatient. The very impatient caterpillar was written and illustrated by Ross Burak. Hey, what are you guys doing? We're going to metamorphosize. Meta what now? You know, transform into butterflies. Oh, right, right, I knew that. Wait, wait, wait. You're telling me I can become a butterfly? Yes. With wings? Yes. For real? Yes. Wait for me. Look at this. The caterpillar trying to explain what a butterfly looks like. He's holding up leaves and waving them. <laughs> All right, now what? Build your chrysalis. Chrysalis, right, right, I knew that. Uh, what? How did you do that? Is it a spin or more of a twirl? This poor caterpillar doesn't know how to do it. <gasps> I hope someone explains it to him. Am I a butterfly yet? Ugh. <laughs> so while this caterpillar is very impatient to turn into a butterfly, this caterpillar has to be very patient to deal with him. All right, now what? Just be patient and let nature take its course. Patience, right, right, I got this. Am I a butterfly yet? No. Am I a butterfly yet? No. How about now? No. Now? No. Be patient. I got a question. Not yet. You don't even know what I was going to ask. Fine. Ask. How is your day going? Also, am I a butterfly yet? No. Just be patient. Shh. We're all trying to they all want him to be quiet now, don't they? Okay, okay. Obviously, I know this already, but uh, do you know how long this takes? Two weeks. Right, right, two weeks. Two weeks! <laughs> he didn't know it was going to be two weeks, and he was not happy. <laughs> oh, what am I going to do in here for two weeks? Uh... Can I get a comic book or something? Uh, what if I need to go to the bathroom? Anyone want to play a game? <laughs> what if I want a snack? Hello, two pizzas please. My address? A chrysalis. <laughs> Click. Hello? Hello? How 
How long have I been in here? It's still just day one? This is taking forever. That's it. I feel metamorphosized enough. Look out, world. Feast your eyes on this beautiful butterfly. How do I look? Transformed? Time to spread my wings and fly. Oh no, I'm worried about him. He wasn't fully metamorphosized. What's going to happen if he tries to fly? Wait, where are my wings? Ah, splat! Oh, time for a new approach. <laughs> yeah, he didn't have wings yet. Okay, you can do this. <clears throat> You can be patient. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't be patient. Get your grip. You can be patient. I can't. I can't. You are the little caterpillar that could. He's talking to himself in the mirror. He's trying to cheer himself up and get himself ready. Nope. I'm the little caterpillar who couldn't. You can. I can't. You can, I can't, you can, I can't, can, can't. All this time he's yelling inside his chrysalis. This squirrel thinks something is really strange. All the other caterpillars are quietly resting, getting ready to come out. And he's still fighting with himself. I can be patient. Patience is all in the mind. Be one with the chrysalis. Day four, deep breath in, day five, and out. Day six, look, it's day six. Day seven, I'm doing it. Day eight, just be patient. Day nine, just be patient. Day 10, day 11, two weeks later. I did it! I'm a butterfly! You know, I do feel transformed. Starting now, I'm going to be way more patient. That's great. Hey, where are y'all going? We're migrating. Migrating, right, right, right. Wait for me. Are we there yet? Oh. <laughs> He hasn't learned patience. Now that it's time to migrate, he's just as impatient as he was before. He wonders if they're there yet. No, no, no. You've got a long way to go, Mr. Butterfly. I hope you enjoyed the two stories. Now I want you to look in your packet and find the materials I gave you for two different crafts. Well, one of the things you will find in your bag is this. You might wonder what it is. It looks a little bit like a dog bone. This is a butterfly bracelet. Let me show you how that works. First we want to color it in. You can use crayons or markers or paint, whatever you'd like. And you just color it in however you'd like to color it in. I'm going to go quicker than I normally would because I don't want you to have to wait for me to finish. And sometimes I could sit here and take a long time coloring. But let's say, I'm just going to do this one quickly so you can see. So first I color it. Then you'll see there are two dotted lines. Those dotted lines need to be cut on. Not all the way through the whole piece of paper just where the dots are. Okay, now the tricky part. Have you ever tried to put a bracelet on by yourself? <laughs> you can all giggle at me if you want. That's all right. I'm giggling at myself because I don't appear to have enough hands. All right, I'm just going to show you what it looks like. Ta-da! 
very quick little craft. Take your time coloring it. You don't have to rush like I did. But it's just a quick little butterfly bracelet for you to wear. Second craft's going to take a little bit longer and you're going to need some glue. You take the coffee filter. That's what this is. There's a coffee filter in your packet. There's a clothespin, the kind that pinch nom, 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 in your packet. There's a piece of pipe cleaner or chenille stem, depending on what you want to call it. And then there should be four pom-poms, one that's lighter and three that are darker. And last but not least, a paper towel tube. We're going to make a butterfly coming out of its cocoon. How are we going to do that? First, these are going to be the butterfly's wings. So again, you can color it with marker, crayon, watercolor paints, put stickers on it, however you want to color it. I put some magic marker on mine and then got it wet. I got it wet and then let it dry just because I wanted to do something kind of fun. So I just used some washable magic marker, got it wet, crumpled it up, let it dry, and now it's a fun color. I could also just take a blank one and draw on it, however you want to decorate it. These are the butterfly's wings. Here's the butterfly's body. Now, <laughs> he starts off as a caterpillar. So we are going to take some glue and glue the light colored pom-pom close to the front. That's the head. Then we take the glue. You could use glue stick as long as you use a lot of glue stick. You can use Elmer's glue. It might take a little bit to dry if you use Elmer's glue. But however, you can glue your caterpillar. He hasn't turned into a butterfly yet. He doesn't have his wings. He's too impatient. Next, we can put, open him up, er, almost like bite into, <laughs> bite into the pipe cleaner. Then you can wrap it up here, maybe even twist it so it stays. You can give him curly cued antenna. You could. Put a bead, if you have beads at home, you want to put a bead on the end of his antenna, you can do that too. He still just looks like a caterpillar though. How are we going to get him to look like a butterfly? Well, we can mush the middle. That's the technical term, mush. Mush the middle so it's skinny. So you can see, yep, those look like wings. Where are we gonna put them? Again, make him open up and stick that in there. He's, mine's kind of wet now, so it's kind of hard to show you without him falling apart. So let me show you one that's had a chance to dry. He's had a chance to dry. And why do we have a paper towel tube? Because we're going to put him in. And then when he comes out of his, this is his cocoon, his chrysalis. When he comes out, he is finally, after being patient enough, a butterfly. Yay. I hope you enjoyed our caterpillar stories today and our caterpillar craft. Next week, we're going to be doing Little Red Riding Hood. I look forward to seeing you then. Bye, guys.